Good day and welcome back to the Family Cyber Clinic. This week we'll be discussing the Internet of Things or IoT. Our focus will be on what IoT really means. I'll share some examples of IoT. I'll share the security risks around IoT and I'll show us how to secure our IoT device or devices. Okay, before we start in earnest to, you know, to discuss these things, I'll ask those who are visiting this platform for the very first time to consider subscribing. And please click on the bell so that you'll be alerted when new content like this is uploaded each week. Needless to say, if this is beneficial to you, please share it with your friends and family okay thank you all right so what is iot iot or the internet of things is a system of interrelated computer devices mechanical and digital machines objects animals or people that are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. I'll share some examples of IoT. In the consumer market today, IoT technology is most synonymous with products pertaining to the concept of the smart home. Okay? Smart home. That should ring a bell. Smart. Smart. S-M-A-R-T covering devices and appliances such as lighting fixtures, thermostats, home security systems and cameras, and home appliances. All these support one or more ecosystems and can be controlled via devices associated with that ecosystem like smartphones or smart speakers. And in simple terms, if you have your smartphone connected to your Wi-Fi network and you have one of these smart devices or IoT devices like your uh, security camera or your thermostat connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you'll be able to control the smart device or the IoT device using your phone, okay? So many of you now remember, or at least <laughs> I've juggled your memory a bit you do have an IoT device. Some, some of us use it to control our uh, microwaves, our fridges, our uh, washing machines. Uh, yeah, <laughs> life has really gotten that good. We're becoming so lazy. It is convenient, it's beautiful. But like I, I mentioned earlier in the introduction, we're going to consider or at least discuss the security risks because there are a number of security concerns about the dangers in the growth of IoT. Many vendors rushed these devices to the market. And as a, uh, as a consequence of that, the due diligence that will normally be applied before uh, items or devices are, are sent into the market were ignored or at, at the least um, basic security were applied to these devices. And so the clinic wants to uh, tidy that up and get you to pre protect yourself whilst engaging or using these IoT devices, okay? The government are doing things about it. The vendors are doing things about it to close that hole, but it is progressing at a snail's pace. And so you and I can do a lot of things to protect ourselves in the meantime, okay? So you ask me, how do I secure my IoT device? You know, how do I, uh, how do I secure my thermostat, like the Nest thermostat, or how can I secure my washing machine? Simple. I have uh, several that I'll go through, um, and, and many we already know about. If you're part of this platform, you would know that I'm very big on uh, on, on on some of these things that I'll share. Okay, so the first is authentication. The first thing you must do is make sure that the default login details are changed immediately. 
And what do I mean by that? Usually, like I've mentioned, since these items were rushed to the market, basic login details were, were set up, you know, or, or in fact, at times, not at all. So you could go into the administrator or administration page without needing to log on. On some of the devices, absolutely. I'm not, I'm not making this up. And then the second, equally as loose security, is you have username being admin and the password being admin, or username admin password 00001234. Those are basic login details that rogues can easily, um, you know, guess and and and, and cause havoc. So you must change those default login details immediately. The second is that if there's encryption in, in, in the settings, you must enable it so that there is no clear text communication. So your information whilst it's moving from device to device cannot be hijacked, you know, um, by, by rogues. So make sure that the, the, the device has the ability for encryption to be enabled the third will be privacy settings they have to be locked down some of these devices don't even have those settings and as you find when I get to number six you can do something about that okay the fourth if there's a web interface you must make sure it is hardened what do I mean by that most of the communication on the web interface is via HTTP which is over port 80 you can secure the communication on that um, on the web interface by using port 443 which is https okay so you secure the traffic so any engagement on the web will be encrypted and secure as a result so change it from http to https if you need more information go to the manual and go through the settings this information should be there. And of course, comment or ask questions via email and I'll be more than happy to help you, okay? Last two, number five, every IoT device should be upgradable. What do I mean by that? You find that over time, these devices need to be upgraded to tackle vulnerabilities that have been found. If a device does not have the ability for you to upgrade or patch it it's a big no no okay and that's why i said six is very important don't buy products whose vendors cannot guarantee security so if you can't upgrade or you can't install bug fixes uh, to tackle vulnerabilities what use is that device to you and yes, don't rush to buy these things. If, you, if a vendor can't guarantee security, do not buy it. Over time, with the pressure from the government, they will get their act together and put out devices that are very secure, okay? Needless to say, we will be visiting this topic again as it matures over time. But please secure your IoT devices without delay, okay? Thank you, very serious, but hey, uh, that's what we're here for. We want you to be wise whilst you're engaging with these new fantastic uh, uh, devices. Okay, thank you. Good stuff. The Christmas season is well and truly here. We're all going to be shopping a lot this month. However, I'll urge all those who are a part of this platform this family and those who are visiting this platform for the very first time i want you to watch the video that is showing in the info card just now okay in that video i i talk about ways to avoid contactless credit card and debit card scams that are rampant during this time of the year please share it with your friends share it with your families on all your social media platforms you know just get the information out there so that these rogues do not um, have a go at vulnerable people whilst they are trying to enjoy this uh, beautiful season called christmas okay good stuff thank you
The PowerPoint for this week. By wisdom, a house is built. And through understanding, it is established. I'm your host, Cyber Pastor Lawrence Edem. Until next week, season greetings, God bless, and goodbye.